Mina-san konnichiwa, this is David. And Mina. And tonight we are doing a quick review of the Gundam, the origin version of the Shars Zaku 2. Gosh, she's pretty. It is very, very pretty. Um, now, as far as these things go, um, this is like a perfect HG kit to me. Um, when I get people asking me, what should I get started with? If you're even remotely interested in the Zaku model, this is the one to start with. Um, it is less complex than the RG, um, and it has way fewer fiddly bits, um, springs and things that can break and what have you. This is a very sturdy kit. Um, it's a very, very nice little kit. Um, not a very big one to put together, but if you want to make it more complicated, they have given you a lot of great avenues with which to do so. So you can build on it. Yes. Beginners, you are going to love the fact that there's all kinds of space for panel lining. Um, it is intricately lined the same way that the RG kit is. I have not yet lined this one, but it will be very easy to do and it will have very great results because it is elaborately done. Um, that is wonderful. Uh, also, it has tons of decals. This is not common for an HG kit. And they are great little decals. But what's the difference between decals and stickers for anybody who doesn't know? Well, stickers are just stickers with an adhesive on the back. Um, decals can have different methods of application. Like these are rub on decals, which are pretty much the easiest decals to do. Um, they will cling to the kit with static and then you just rub out the air behind them and that'll basically make them stick. Um, they have a, a light adhesive, um, but they are much more detailed than stickers. Stickers are like heavy, um, like plastic or paper. These are a light, very thin, transparent paper, or sorry, paper, transparent plastic. Um, so they're going to look a lot better than an actual sticker. They're, they're rub-on decals. Um, with MG kits, sometimes you'll have water slide decals, but that's a whole different topic. Right. But anyway, lots of decals. You have these white lines. Those are decals. You have plenty of markings all over the kit bunch of little caution decals this is this is on par with like an um an rg or most mgs as far as the decals go they're really nice um very small details here i don't know if that's going to focus or not um but so that's great um also you have on the shield if you take off these ammo packs you have char uh, his insignia here and the zeon seal okay so, as well as the um, the gigantic rifle here that I have um, attached, he also has his bazooka, which has detachable ammo packs. These are the same things that are on the shoulder pieces, so they pop out. Um, you could have him in any stage of um, loaded or not loaded. He also has two heat hawks, one of which can attach to his side skirt the other of which cannot. Um, and that one uh, that one doesn't have a peg on it, so it'll look a little bit better if you're putting it in the hand. Mm. Um, so it's a little bit better for posing. One of the things that I brought up during the, um, during the unboxing was the shoulder piece. Um, the shoulder piece is two pieces and it's split down the side of that spike. Now, again, not sure how that focus is gonna work. But it looks great. Not a problem at all. And not just that. Bandai gave us a great decal for the seam. So that's actually going to cover what little bit of the seam that you can see there. The top seam is completely, completely unnoticeable. It's a great, great seam. Now, as far as accessories go, he has a few um, very iconic stuff here. He has, of course, this gigantic rifle which is the same rifle that is showcased in the first moment or two of Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin Episode 1, Blue-Eyed Castfall. Sure loves those big guns. Yes, he does. Also, he has Heat Hawks. He's got two of them. 
They're pretty much identical, except one of them has a peg so it can be attached to the side skirt. The other one does not, so it looks better for posing. They are, and for whatever it's worth, they're not quite to the level of the RG in detail, but they're very close. Um, then he has this giant Mega Bazooka, which um, has detachable ammo packs. These are the same ammo packs that are on his shoulder, and that way you can have him full of ammo or, you know, lacking ammo, whatever. Um, and that's a nice little two-handed weapon. Okay, so dropping off that um, the hand and the rifle. The hand is special for the rifle, and I'm going to drop off the bazooka to show you how it moves. It's very stable, very articulate for an HG. Zero Cool here is contributing to the video. His um, his chest goes out and in, so he can hold a two-handed weapon in front of him, and so he can, you know, be sort of badass, I guess. Um, that's a feature that I've seen in a lot of the Build Fighters sets. As well, the arm joints do pop out and they pop out safely so he can actually you could actually put his hand or arms all the way in front of him very articulate for an hg now the um the elbows he can bend all the way up to where he hits his shoulder so full range there zero cool is just insistent on being a part of this video tonight Legs go all the way back, not qu actually not quite all the way back. They are stopped by that tubing there, but they go pretty much all the way back that you would want them to. The skirts do move out of the way very well, um, and they actually pop out a little bit in order to accommodate a full range on the legs. Oh, that's the first time I've actually popped that off there. But that's a good thing to demonstrate. So... Both of the legs are on this toggle that slides forward and backwards to give you even more range of motion on that leg. So you can actually set it so he can fully kick forward. He can do the splits. And of course I stressed that skirt just a little too much so it popped off. But it is on a heavy ball joint. So it'll go back in and it's nice and stable the skirts are um, detached already i know in the old hg zakus they are not you have to clip them if you want them that way um, and that really takes down on the stability these are very stable skirts the back skirt doesn't go anywhere but that's pretty much a standard with the zaku lines um our verniers they can move around they are on a ball joint of their own um not really sure how much someone would care about that. But if you do care about that, it's a thing. And he comes with um, he comes with four hands total. He comes with this open hand. Um, he comes with a trigger finger hand on the right. And he comes with two fists for holding things. Um, this hand is specifically to uphold the, um, the rifle. Um, as well as with the trigger hand. So he really only has that as far as the hands go, but I mean, that weapon is exactly what he's supposed to be using. Um, so it's fitting. And there you go. There is the Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin Shars Zaku. I think it is a wonderful kit. Um, it's pretty cheap. I think I paid, what, 1,200 yen, I think, for it. Um, so it's it's a nice, affordable starter kit. It's not as cheap as your standard HG Zaku, which is, you know, under 1,000 yen, but it is significantly better. It's, it's a, a great kit. Um, matane, everyone.